Lawmakers were here at the Capitol until really just a few hours ago. A very rare private conversation drama playing out in a very public way on the Senate floor late into the night. But ultimately, there was no deal. This morning, the U.S. government closed for business. The A's are 50 and the A's are 49. Lawmakers failing to strike a compromise on immigration. Protection for so-called dreamers Motion's went entered. south, despite last-minute negotiations after the vote was called. The Senate chamber at times tense, party leaders huddling on and off the floor. But no deal. American people should expect better. This is no way to conduct the nation's business. After weeks of finger-pointing, on Friday, a frantic race to cut a deal. This is Durbin. They did gonna call you. Earlier in the day, a promising sign. The president asking Democratic leader Chuck Schumer to lunch at the White House. But even after cheeseburgers together? We still have a good number of disagreements. The discussions will continue. Still, both sides said then that things were looking up. We're close enough we can get there if we just stay at it. I think that's a positive step. I understand not a lot was accomplished. The high-stakes negotiations continuing through the day and late into the night. Leaders meeting behind closed doors with White House aides. Another call from the president to Schumer about a temporary fix. Outside the Capitol, Senate Democrats firing up the base at a late-night rally with Dreamers before coming back inside to debate what to do. Early in the evening, Republicans were still hopeful. What's going to happen tonight? Think we're going to shut down? Uh, if there's a shutdown, then we fail the country. I hope not. I, I think there'll be some deal. I, I can't imagine we're going to shut down. So I'm just trying to get there. But with just hours left on the clock, the president weighing in on Twitter, not optimistic. Not looking good for our great military or safety and security on the very dangerous southern border. Dems want a shutdown in order to diminish the great success of the tax cuts and what they are doing for our booming economy. Finally, a late night vote. Not finished until after midnight, with no obvious path forward. The blame game already beginning. Government shutdown was 100% avoidable. Senate Democrats chose to filibuster a non-controversial funding bill. There is no one, no one, who deserves the blame for the position we find ourselves in more than President Trump. In the end, out of time, dreamers still hanging in the balance. At this hour, it's just not clear how this ends. It could start in the House of Representatives. They are coming in at 9 o'clock this morning. They have big meetings at 10 o'clock. That could mean an even shorter term funding bill to try and reopen the doors than the one that they were talking about last night. But again, at this point, we, we just really don't know, Craig. Hey, Casey, really quickly, for, for folks at home who might be wondering, if Republicans control the Senate, why couldn't they get this passed and keep the government open? It's a matter of a relatively arcane Senate procedure, Craig. Essentially, Mitch McConnell, Republicans only control 51 votes. They needed 60. And because Democrats stood united, they weren't able to get the votes that they needed. They also lost a couple of Republicans. So now it's back to the drawing board. Craig, Casey Hunt for us this morning on Capitol Hill. Casey, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.